Hi, I'm Dempsey Pua, and this week I'm reviewing. Now before we start off, as always, I just wanted to take a quick second to remind you guys to make sure you hit that like button if you like today's video, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more new movie-related content weekly. But, without further ado, let's jump into today's film. Our Friend was directed by Gabriella Cowperthwaite and stars Casey Affleck, Dakota Johnson, and Jason Segel. Inspired by both the true story as well as the essay published in Esquire titled The Friend, the film follows a couple, played by Affleck and Johnson, whose mutual friend, played by Segel, becomes heavily involved in their life after one of them develops cancer. This film is so good. It is admittedly a total tearjerker and because of that at times I wish that it wasn't necessarily based on a true story but at the same time the way that it embraces and explores the full spectrum of life how things can be so beautiful one second yet so painful the next is what I think makes it so good. Also unlike most true stories puts a film there's a greater sense here that a lot of what we're seeing is depicted exactly how it happened. And I think that's largely due to the fact that A, director Gabriella Cowperthwaite has a background in documentary filmmaking, so she has a knack for evoking the truth. And B, Affleck, Johnson, and Siegel really disappear into their roles. All three leads deliver incredible, realistic performances. And the fact that they all have this effortless chemistry with one another especially helps sell this beautiful friendship. Through them, I feel like I was able to get a really good sense of the love that these people had and still have for each other. And honestly, this is probably the best depiction of friendship I've ever seen in a film. Yeah. I have always uh, thought that, you know, best friends aren't necessarily the ones that you constantly surround yourself with, but rather the ones that are there for you when you need them the most. And not only does this film prove that, and that, you know, the best relationships aren't necessarily close, it also proves that real friends aren't afraid to hurt each other. There are some really great moments in this film where one moment the characters are at each other's throats, and the next, they're in each other's arms. And the untraditional way in which these characters become friends actually speaks volumes as to just how unique their bond is. You see, early on, it's revealed that Siegel's character has a crush on Johnson's character, not knowing that she's dating Affleck's character. But when Affleck's character finds out, instead of being all macho about the situation, he lets it go and instead extends an olive branch. And it's so incredible to see over the course of the film that branch develop into a very important foundation for Affleck and Johnson's characters as they grow up, get older, and begin a family together. Now even though I did enjoy this film, there were still a couple of issues that I had with it, and they're very minor. The first being the way that the film is presented. Now, the entire film is told out of sequence, but that's not without good reason. And while it does get easier to follow as the film goes along, it's still just as easy to get lost. Secondly, the film is a bit on the long side. Personally, I feel like a good 15 minutes could be shaved off of it, and it would still probably be just as good, if not better. It's just that towards the end, I, I started to feel it drag a bit. However, it is important to note that none of those things really take away from the film's overall effectiveness or its message, because unironically, at its core, that's exactly what our friend is about. Time. Not just the time that we have here as individuals on Earth or how we spend it, but more importantly, who we spend it with. Because that truly makes all the difference. And for that, I'm gonna give this film four stars. What did you do that for? That's, a, that's an easy fix. I, got, I have a, a screwdriver in the car. Now, director Gabriella Cowperthwaite had a very special connection to this film, and I was actually fortunate enough to speak with her about it, among other things. So if you wanna check out the entire interview that I did with her, I'll put the link down below in the description box, and hopefully you enjoy it just as much as I, I hope you enjoyed this review. But that's pretty much all the time that I have for you guys today. I wanna to thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to view this video. It really does mean the world to me. And once again, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well for more new movie related content weekly. Now, if you happen to see this movie, if you loved it, if you hated it, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. I look forward to reading and responding to all of your comments as always. Uh, but yeah, guys, be on the lookout for more new content shortly. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm currently working on that I can't wait to share with you all. Um, some of which that, you know, I, I should just probably get back to work on. So, until next time, I'm Dempsey Pilot. Take care.